So Jeff, back at Goodison Park today, just what are your memories of this stadium? Memories really of the two clubs up here. There's another club up here called uh, Live, Live, uh, Live or somebody. We don't talk about no. that. I remember scoring a few goals against Liverpool. I never remember scoring against Everton. But my, my biggest memory was playing Everton in the last game of the season before we played uh, Preston in the FA Cup final in 64. And a week before the final, we played here and uh, got whacked. Either Lebone or Hurst or somebody whacked me. And for the first and only time in my career and life, I kept out of the way for the other remaining 80-odd minutes. I thought, I'm not going to miss the final. And I, and I got. I thought, I'm going to keep out of trouble now. I'm not going to get, get hurt and injured and miss the final. It's such a, such a big thing for, for me, of course, my first uh, big game and a big, huge game for the club. So uh, I kept out of the way, and that's a game I remember more than anything about playing up here. As a striker in that era, just what was it like coming up against Brian Lebeau? Well, Labby was a great, great lad, loved him, loved him, sadly no longer with us, and he was in the 70 World Cup squads, so I got to know him quite well. Uh, he was a good player, he replaced uh, Jack Charlton, Jack had played in 66, Labby had come through, and although Jack was in the squad with, with Brian, uh, Labby was first choice then in 70, and he was a terrific player for the club. Uh, but also, and, and we talk about players these days, it's not just about what they were like as players, but Labby was a, a, a smashing lad. And when you hear players you play with, sadly, who passed away, it's a very, very sad day. When you've and one of the nice things about coming to clubs like this is bumping into the players you played, bumping in not as hard as it used to be, bumping into players you play with and against. Of course, another is Alan Ball, and everyone knows your contribution that famous day at Wembley. But people talk about Alan Ball's performance as well. Just how good was he that day? Well, Alan Ball's contribution was the fact that most of the teammates he played with in the final reckon he was a man of the match and you cannot make a bigger contribution to that in the biggest game and Ball is I think probably I would say he's the most passionate um, player that represents his, his country and I think the fact that I think when he got the position in the in 65 I think he said to Alf you're gonna have to tear this shirt on my back and that's the same attitude you've got to have for young players and you've got a young kid here called Ross Barkley he's one of a handful of players now on the verge of the the England setup who have got a great opportunity to make that position their own. Oh, not he's doing it here in the club, but then it's playing regularly this season, and almost you almost push yourself into the team. You almost demand from the manager that you're selected in the squad, selected in the team, as Borley did. And if any of these young players, including Ross, have half the attitude of, of um, the Borley, God bless him, they will do well and uh, hopefully forge a very long England career. Just finally, uh, you will have been watching Everton this season. You mentioned then a new manager here, Roberto Martinez. What do you make of the job that he's done so far? I think my comment will be, as far as Martinez is concerned, Roberto, is that a club is fortunate uh, at any level when they have two good managers. Uh, you've had a fantastic manager, we know. David Moyes did a great job. And the succession here with Roberto appears to be doing a, a tremendous job. And if you get uh, two good managers back to back, it's, it's super for the club. And I think you've really been fortunate in the finding a, a, a tremendous successor. So I think, you know, it's, it's a great future for the club, continue future for the club.